fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Got a new uh, thing I'm going to show you guys. It's a, a technique that I use in the winter time. Um, it's actually a flutter spoon. So once I'm fishing in here, you know, with my cast master, you could also watch that video I did a little earlier. And these fish seem to move off the docks, and they started to move in between the marina. And I saw them on my active live, and I actually saw them cruising around. So I picked up this uh, prototype uh, blade runner tackle, Rick, buddy of mine, and I casted it out and started working it back and this started hammering. So they wouldn't touch the cast master, but they went after this flutter spoon. So it had a totally different action to it. This is a new lure. It will be on the market shortly, but it's a little bit different style fishing. And then I'll go over all the tackle that you'll need and. Um, all the line is very important on the line and the rod and reel that you're using. So stay tuned. Don't forget to look at my Castmaster one because you'll learn a lot on that one too. And hit the like. Please subscribe. It doesn't cost you a dime. And leave a comment if you want and I'll get back to you within a few days. On the bottom right hand corner, you click that little arrow and you can see all the links of all the products I'm using. And if you purchase anything online, you're going to really help my channel out a lot. Thanks very much for watching. Hey, Alan. The last one you showed me was a drop and drag with the Castmaster, and we were targeting inside the docks. But yep. now today you said you're going to show me something different. Yeah. So what mid-morning, those fish moved off the docks, and they get down here in the middle of these marinas and they sit in these aisles on a little two foot break. Mm. So the other day when we were out there, I was looking at my live and I started seeing all these fish on the live. So I just backed off, picked up this flutter spoon. This is the prototype that um, Blade Runner, Rick, that friend of mine, and I tossed it out there. I've used a lot of um, flutter spoons in the past, but it was kind of like a rip it real hard, you know, a technique. Um, I just start just think, you know, how I work my cast master this time of the year where I just drag it. So I did the same thing with this flutter spoon. Threw it out, you gotta make long cast, you gotta have the right line, the right rod, everything has to be right. Cast it out, let it hit the bottom, start reeling it back, and lo and behold, fish on. Now, I remember you showed me when you did the flutter spoon, you were like, rip it and let it go, rip it. But this one, when you cast it out, you're showing me it's does something really unique that you've never seen before in any lure. Correct. This one is a prototype. Anyway, when you throw <laughs> it out, it'll flutter down. You watch the line, it'll flutter down, and it'll stop for two seconds. And then it'll go again, and it'll stop for two seconds. I was setting the hook because I thought I was getting bit. So it'd go down, stop, go down, and stop. And what happens, I think, is the spoon, it falls like this, and it's going down, and then once the line that's why the line's so important. Once the line catches up to it at the top, it flattens it out and stops. Hmm. And it'll sit there for two seconds and then start dropping down again yeah. when the line crops. So it's uh, something that you know we stumbled onto and it seems to be very effective because when we started catching them, we were catching them like crazy. And these fish are all out in the middle of nowhere. They wouldn't touch a cast master. So get ready watch this show um you could watch the cast master one you'll learn a lot because you could i basically work it the same way but you got to make long casts and very effective well why don't you show me how all right let's go okay I think he went down and got a fish.
Okay, so again, you said we go like this, we make a long cast. Yeah, you want to you want to make a longest cast that you can make. All right. <laughs> and then you want to keep peeling the line out, let the line keep letting it sink, and that spoon will fall about a foot and then stop. Yeah. Foot and stop. Just keep letting it out until it hits the bottom. It's weird. It's like ticks yeah. and stops. Yeah. And then let it hit the bottom. And then you, after it hits the bottom, then you just cr use the handle, point the tip at the water, and just turn the handle. Try right to turn fast or slow? Fast. Like a couple turns? Yeah, and stop. Real? And stop. Real and stop. And you want to vary until you find which way they like it. And sometimes I just let it sit there for a little while and then just reel and stop. And How then, do you know when you have a bite? Normally, you won't feel them peck it or anything. You'll just feel like you're stuck on one of these cables. Yeah. Set the hook. And just keep reeling until you feel the fish on there tight. OK. And a lot of times, right before it hits the bottom, you'll get a strike. So oh, really? The, so it'll, the, the line will just jump and pull, and then just set the hook. Uh, other than that, when it hits the bottom, just reel and stop. Now, reel when you... stop. You get a bite, you have to like reel down and set, or what? And just reel and set it. Okay. That's why you want to keep the tip low of the water. Oh, so okay. When you, when you get bit, you'll just feel it load up, and then just set it. And sometimes I'll reel like three or four times and stop. It's all within a, a feel you'll learn after you do it, when you start getting bit, when you turn a certain way. And but now you had told me before that the bigger ones are actually on, on the, bottom. the bottom. Yeah, that's so, why we're drag like dragging this on the bottom. It's not leaving the bottom. One of the things about a flutter spoon is that it will come up and then it settles down real quick. Oh, we got on a tremendous bite here throwing yeah. these flutter spoons. That day we saw them on the meter yeah. and turned around, to, kept throwing out there and just kept catching them everywhere. They were everywhere in this marina. And the marina is probably a good quarter mile long. They're everywhere. Now, can I do this all year long? And probably not. I'd say it's more for in the winter time. Yeah. So the cast master technique in this flutter spoon is more in the winter. But I'm sure you could catch them with flutter spoons in the summer. You know, you might fish them deeper. But this technique we're doing, Usually in December, January, February is the best. And just here in California? No, you could do this anywhere that the lake has the shad in it. You can use this technique anywhere. And, and it works on other species too, as you will see when you start watching <laughs> my videos. Watch my channel. <laughs>
Fish on. Yep, good one. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Caught that one, working the flutter spoon off the end of the dock where I'm seeing these fish on the meter. Hey, what's a fish hitting that lure that big? As a spoon flutters, they don't see it. They just see like an image of it and they stack it. Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you subscribe. It doesn't cost you a dime. And leave a comment if you want, and I'll always get back to you. I'll answer you within two or three days, and then I'll, um, at, you know, every last Friday of the month, I do a What Would Alan Do? And if your comment is one that I think is, should let everybody know, then you'll be on the video. Your comment will be right on there. So hit that like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed my videos. And if you purchase anything through our links, you're helping my um, YouTube channel out. So get me going down the road. So maybe I'll be doing this full time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you. Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.